The City of Franklin and the Simpson County Fiscal Court approved a proposal for a 30-year master plan for Jim Roberts Park yesterday. WBKO's Derek Parham talked to park officials about the plan and what it means for the community. The first phase of the master plan includes the completion of the first loop of a trail that will end up circling the park, as well as a dog park to be installed near the park's back entrance. You know, we've completed the easy process. Now we start on the more difficult process, but, you know, we're going to take it one step at a time, one bite at a time. That difficult process includes breaking up 30 years of hard work and deciding which projects need to be prioritized. So now we're going to take this 30 year plan and we will break it into smaller pieces of what we want to try to accomplish and set a time frame to that. Deaver says that one of the most requested amenities for the park has been included in the park's plans and like all aspects of the plan, public input will be welcome for it. We have included a community center in here again when we get to that planning phase. Then we'll start having those public meetings to see what the community would like to see in that. I'm excited about this because that would allow us the opportunity to expand our programming. Along with expanding programming, the master plan allows the district to plan for expanded staffing and educational opportunities for the community. I have applied for a grant through AmeriCorps for this year to hire a part-time person to do some environmental ed programming so that we can see the feedback from our community on that. While Deaver says that finding funding for the projects will be the most difficult part of the process, she trusts her community. But I feel confident our community um, is so supportive, you know, they're going to help us reach these goals. The first phase of the park's 30-year master plan is set to be finished at the end of this year. Reporting in Franklin, Derek Parham, WBKO News.